So this thing is now, it's roughly around 100 kilograms, give or take. And let's unbox this. Hey, how's it going today, YouTube? Today we are just unboxing one of the, um, I don't think there's a name for this desk, the PC desk over here. It's just one of those like Chinese brand that they have on Taobao. Before I came back, I was actually looking to build a computer and then I had a couple options, whether to go Macintosh or just build another PC. But something I always see online is these like really cool pictures of like computer desk with like the computer built in. The reason for me to get this desk is actually fairly simple. It's just to save space underneath and make everything look clean because I'm just not good at dealing with cables here. I have the setup right over here. That's a total mess right now. So I figured why wouldn't I try one of these desks and then I found a, actually a fairly decent looking one. There's like a, it's got a wooden cover on top of the desk and it also has high adjustment. So that actually makes the table quite a bit heavier than a regular table because it has all these stuff right over here, which is roughly probably about 90 to 100 kilograms. So unboxing this thing is, it totally makes me understand why people don't want to build one of these and why not as manufacturer were considering building these desks. As for components, I don't have anything fancy. It's just the 12 gen motherboard over here. Yeah, the Z690, one of those motherboards. i7 12700K. And then we have the air cooler, which hopefully will fit the desk. It looks like I got plenty of space, plenty of height to work with, so it should be fine. And then a shitload of RAM, 64 gigs times two. And then a 1000 watt power supply, which pretty much for the component and a bunch of hard drives. So nothing fancy the table is pretty neat though it's it's fully metal and it's it's very heavy <laughs> and then come coming from like ikea desks and tables you, you'll be like okay these these regular furniture are just like the weight is just unbelievable so let's get start building this thing right over here Two thousand years later. Six, seven hours in, I just finally got the computer to run. I didn't even bother recording because it, it was so long, but you can see it finally booted up. To be to be honest, there was no error in installing anything this time. But getting Windows 11 loaded up on one of these drivers is a little bit harder than like Windows 7, Windows 10. And see, the power supply is fine. That is running great. And then the motherboard's doing good. I already have an M.2 installed in there. So, so far looks good. This is a big desk. Look at all this mess. But yeah, I got finally got it running, so that's the first step finished. The second step would be just installing the table, which is another, maybe another five, six hours. It would take, I'm guessing. And then we'll probably have to move everything, including this table, this desktop, everything out of the room so that I can put the desk over here. Otherwise, there's no way we're gonna set up the desk. There we go. 
Windows 11. Just a quick recap, I guess I have to. Because the module, well, the, the, this frame over here was originally in the center, so it was blocking all the cable, so I have to take it out and move it sort of like on the right side. That does two things. Essentially, it allows me to put a second computer right over here in another bracket. And it's just more space in general. Like, I don't need it to look that great. It's just, it's just got to be functional. Okay, so we did manage to finish the basic for the day. It's like 2 a.m. You can see the inside is not done, but the desk is fully set up. So roughly around like a day, like 24 hours, I finally got everything done. Which is surprisingly fast if you think about it, like getting everything in the desk. I mean the cables are organized, that's the only thing, but otherwise so far everything looks great. The only thing left to do is the cables, which I'm not too concerned with to be honest. And the other thing I did after finishing with the tables is just laying this, the biggest like mouse pad I can find on top of the table and covering that transparent glass. Which you are supposed to have it like sort of open so you can see the you know the RGBs and stuff which I don't have any. So it, it's just for me it's all about sort of utility but also kinda of, kinda of, I guess looking great is kinda of, is kinda of subjective. For me, especially nowadays, it's more about the functions and looks definitely matters, but then it's I'm going for like a something that I can look at every day, not something that's like okay like two weeks after you get out of bed and you see all the RGB lights. So I forgot to mention the price. The desk itself with the stand is 4,000 RMB, which if you divide by around seven, it'll be about, you're, you're looking at like 570 or 580 US dollars, which is sort of like a good deal. Well, it's pretty pricey considering like it's a table, especially in China. A regular table will cost you like 200 RMB, but this is like, you can buy the 20, 20 something the, the wooden table that I had before you will have cost probably like 200 RMB this is like 4200 so you can literally buy 20 regular tables with the price of this one table every time I buy computer parts it's generally mixed with my older parts I really buy like the whole like the whole PC new I I guess that's sort of like the the point of you know having a customizable PC is that you're using your old parts the graphics card inside is a older 1080, which is still like really like still is very really capable for video editing. It doesn't. It's very really capable for image or video editing, which doesn't take a lot in terms of graphic card. The CPU wise, I I went with the i7 12700 because it's more it's more efficient. I would say it's. For the the price is not that different from the i9. It's only like a hundred something dollars off. But um, I would say it's mainly because I'm not sure what it would take to cool it. But um, it seems that like the i7, the one that I'm using right now, is very the temperature is actually much better than expected. At idle temperature, I'm looking at about around 35 to 40 Celsius when the room temperature is about 25 and the motherboard is 27 degrees 
anti graphics card, which is the hottest out of the bunch, is 55 degrees as we are speaking. And it's it's a little bit on the higher side, but overall, like I have zero fans besides the besides the heatsink and the two two fans for the CPU. There are zero fans in the case so far. Because I sort of forgot to be honest. I forgot to buy any fans for the case. <laughs> I thought they would probably come with one or two, but they don't. The thing I'm kind of more concerned about is keeping the case quiet, which is actually quieter than the air condition. So that's quite nice. I couldn't hear it at all. The other thing that I picked this case for was for how much stuff I'm gonna put in on this side. Charging station, things like that. Plenty of options, right? And then every time I need to link something out, I can just, you know, put it there. Sometimes there are these hard drives that are not permanent for me, but I still like, I don't want to leave it on the desk. So it's just easy to put it down there and I just leave it for that. If I want to take it out, I just open it. So very interesting option that that is available for this table. Journey, the built-in PC table, you have to lift up the whole glass. So. This is definitely a very really interesting option where you just slide out the it's like a drawer, you just slide it out. So it it is very really useful for like utility wise as long as you're not like a bigger person which your knees are gonna bounce around quite a bit in front of the table. So that's it for the no name table and I'll see you in another video. Bye.